Let's try to evaluate this integral here. Y runs from zero to four, X runs from Y over two to Y over two plus one, two X minus Y over two DX DY. We want to use our change of variables. Here we're given U and V in terms of X and Y. Uh, our, our first thing to do is to figure out what are x and y in terms of u and v. Figure out what little g of u, v, little h of u, v are going to be. So from this here, v is equal to y over 2. Multiplying on both sides by 2 gives us y is equal to 2 times v. And so then... If y is equal to 2 times v, we can substitute that into here. u is equal to 2x minus y is 2v. All of that divided by 2. Uh, we can divide, okay, there's a 2x minus 2v over 2. That's just going to be u is equal to x minus v. And we can move the v to the other side to get x is equal to u plus v. So y is equal to 2v, x is equal to u plus v here. We have our change of variables all ready to go. Okay, uh, this is our first thing to, uh, that we need. We also know that we are going to need the Jacobian. So you have to do this calculation. So let's go ahead and do that calculation here. So J of UV, the determinant of, let's see, the partial derivative to X with respect to U is one, partial derivative to X with respect to V is one, partial derivative Y with respect to U is zero, and the partial derivative Y with respect to V is two. One times two minus zero times one, two minus zero is two. We see here that this is going to be a linear transformation and it has constant Jacobian as expected. Okay, so um, let's talk about bounds here. So bounds in the xy plane. So we see here y runs from 0 to 4 and x runs from y over 2 to y over 2 plus 1. Okay, this one, uh, x is equal to y over 2. This is going to be uh, multiplied by 2. y is equal to 2x. Y, x is equal to y over 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 this is going to be y is equal to 2x minus 2. Okay, so, so let's graph here y is equal to 0, y is equal to 4. x is equal to y over 2, that's y is equal to 2x. Okay, so this is y is equal to 2x, y is equal to 2x minus 2 looks like this. And so the region in question is this parallelogram. This is our region R. Slightly nasty region. Uh, I, I suppose actually, you know, we could just integrate this uh, by slicing it horizontally and, and that shouldn't be too big of a deal to, to slice this horizontally. Um, but let's try to do this by using the transformation here that we've been working out. So what is going on, what is going on in the, we need a region in the UV plane. So we know V is equal to Y over two. So if y is running from 0 to 4, this tells us that uh, y is equal to 2 times v. 2v is running from 0 to 4 divided by 2. v is running from 0 to 2. So 
our upper bound on V is going to be two. Now, as for U, as for U, uh, how do we figure out bounds on U? Well, let's replace in to, let's replace in here, y over two, we know that is v. x, we know x is u plus v. And y over two plus one, that's v plus one. And look, we have a v, we have a v, we have a v, we can subtract v from all three sides of these inequalities. And we're left with zero is less than or equal to u is less than or equal to one. And so, hey, look what's going on here. Our region G, the nice region, we managed to come up with a map that sends our nice region to the nasty region. And so now we're going to integrate over our nice region. So integrating over the nasty region here, the nice region has very nice bounds. Integral u runs from, z from zero to one, v runs from zero to two. The integrand here, two x minus y over two, well, that's just equal to u. And then we throw in our factor, we throw in the factor absolute value of the Jacobian. The Jacobian is two, absolute value is two is two, dv du. And so we have this pretty straightforward uh, double integral. If you crunch out, isn't too difficult. You get two here.